Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tabby and I am so glad you're here. So today I'm going to do a video. Um, I did a bit of shopping in the past couple of weeks or so and they were more focused on spring, but I really feel like they can transition to summer as well. But yeah, let me get started on what I have. I went to, let me start with H&M. Okay, so I, ha I, got, I found this shirt. It, if you look closely, it's just like a basic, very, very like basic t-shirt. However, they, um, you know, they made like little holes, like they made it where it's, how would I explain this? Um, there's like a little bolt bows right here and you know like the sh shoulders peeking through are very trendy right now and I just think it's so feminine and adds you know a nice dress up to a, a really common shirt because this is like a cotton or something like that t-shirt but then you add some femininity femininity with these ribbons I wore it you know pretty much anywhere and I got so many compliments on it and one of my girlfriends was like, I wonder if we can make it. Because I think that you can. You just cut a regular shirt and then like tie it on the side. I might try that. And I really love this. It adds a little flair to a regular t-shirt. Okay, so sticking to t-shirts. You know, another thing that's pretty popular right now is having like prints on shirts. And this says Modern Romantic and I thought that was cute. I love gray shirts, but I have a lot of really very, just very basic gray shirts, so I felt like this would be a little fun, and it says never let me go. I think that it just adds a little personality to the t-shirt. It's a, I bought it in medium, so I typically am small, but I like the baggy look with, you know, some nice jeans, some tight jeans, and um, you can even wear it with heels, or wear them with my mules, or wear them with my converse or flats so this adds just a little personality to a regular t-shirt okay and then the last t-shirt is also as you guys know the you know the little like patches and like again going on the theme of like writing this says babe on it I thought that was so cute it says babe on it and it's just a basic army green shirt. Again, I got this size in small because I wanted this one to be fitted. I felt like it was, you know, um, going on the edge of being a little tomboyish, which I don't really feel like I am. So I really wanted this to be fitted and just to wear with like a t-shirt, uh, wear with some jeans. And uh, really, you could even put like a, a blazer on top or, you know, I think some just basic jeans and like mules would look cute and that's how I've been wearing it. So that is cute. This is from Forever 21. Oh, I guess I'm going all over the place with H&M and Forever 21, but that's okay. And then I, so now I have like the dressier collar shirts. This one is also from Forever 21 and I haven't worn it yet. I have like a pink version of this and um, I just really think that I love collar shirts. It's one a thing that I like to wear a lot, but I can't wear it too often with Atlee because, you know, she's a baby and she gets all over, she gets her stuff all over me. But um, I like how it adds like a little different side to just a regular collar shirt. It's very flowy and um, the front is short and then the back is longer. And the price was really good. It was $14.90. And this is from the Contemporary Forever 21 line. Oh, and these other last few t-shirts were around $15 to $20, which I think is a, a pretty good price. Okay, and then you guys probably saw me wearing this, if you saw my video, if I'm gonna keep my Chanel purse, and then my um, life update video. I wore this shirt and <laughs> For some reason, it was just calling to me. Like, I felt like it kind of had like a, a grandma pattern. But uh, also, I feel like it's very like fashion forward. Like, I could see, you know, on the runways as being something. So, it's kind of borderline grandma and like fashion forward. <laughs> but I do, I do really like it. And I have liked wearing it tucked in with some jeans. It's shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. But... This is just really cute. It's a very cute shirt. 
and the colors are like a, a purple and then like a green. So I feel like it's, it's perfect for spring. This shirt really caught my attention because I feel like it's just an effortless shirt. It's a collar shirt, however, it's different from a lot of my other shirts because a lot of my other shirts are like softer. This actually looks like a men's shirt. It's a woman's shirt, but I got it in a size four. And this one was uh, $20. And it's very, very long. It's longer than all of them. And it looks like a men's shirt, but I feel like <clears throat> this type of material, it, it's fine if it's wrinkled. And also um, I like to make this feminine with some tight jeans and then some high heels. So, this is definitely something I really like. I also bought this in a light blue, but I've been wearing it so much that it's in the washer right now. So yeah, this is just like an effortless shirt. You can tuck it in in the front and, you know, half tucked in or you can untuck it. So. Lastly, I got this shirt from Forever 21. I just love, like, as you can see, you know, I got this shirt from Forever 21. I like the little, like, lift to regular shirts. And this is a shirt that I really liked. I've been trying to find, like, this cross detail, and I love this blush color. And it's very wrinkled, but it, it crosses in the front like this. And in the back, it's a little bit longer, but this color is just so pretty. I wore it on Atlee's first birthday, and it just adds a very feminine touch to a regular blouse. So this is very pretty. And I would like to pair, I usually pair that with like some distressed jeans, you know, with holes in it to add a little bit of, you know, edge to it, but also you can just wear some regular, you know, jeans or slacks or um, things like that. Okay, so the last thing, those are all my shirts that I got. I've been, try, I've been trying to find some shoes, some mules, and I have some black pair of mules, but they, I've been wearing them for like forever, and I wanted to get some nude mules, and I've been looking everywhere, and you know, they were like all on the like higher prices. Some were too tall on their heels, and some were too short, and I felt like these were perfect, so I got these from... H&M and they were, oh gosh, I don't know how much they were. I think they were, these are size 38. Um, I know I have big feet for a short person. I'm 5'2". But these were, I believe $29, but they are just so cute. They're just very simple and it's kind of like this faux, it's like a faux suede, obviously, and just so simple. You know very very comfortable and just goes literally with everything and I like that they're nude because they tend to elongate your legs when you wear shorts so I like that as well okay I'm really excited about these jeans so these jeans are just they're skinny ankle high-waisted denim stretchy jeans and I when I go buy jeans I buy high-waisted because it tucks in that baby belly, which like it's just like a little baby pouch, but I love to have the high waisted. And then also I get ankle jeans because I'm so tiny, I'm like 5'2", that all, most of the times when I buy jeans, I have to get them hemmed or they're too long. So <clears throat> I wanted these since these were just, and these were only $10 from H&M. I'm gonna like order more because I tried to find them in the store, but I only found it online, but they have like black and light blue and stuff like that. But what I really liked about these is that they're just, and these are size 27. What I like about these is they're just very, very simple and there's no holes in it. And they were actually just regular on the bottom, like regular jeans, but I wanted to have like regular jeans with some frayed. So what I ended up doing was just freehanding it and like cutting the bottoms of these jeans. And then I just like frayed them a little bit and then I put them in the washer and they're starting to fray more. Um, so I could trim them if I wanted to, but honestly, I like the look of it. So yeah, it's just very sleek and simple, but then it um, has like the fraying on the bottom and they're only $10. So I figured if I cut them and they messed up, 
well, I mean, that sucks that I lost $10, but I'm sure I could turn them to shorts or something like that. So love these, highly recommend them. I can't believe they're $10. So I'm definitely gonna get like black and light blue. I hope they're not sold out. So these jeans, <clears throat> I still have the tags on them. And I've been trying to find a good pair of mommy jeans. And <clears throat> mommy jeans? And I just love the way that mommy jeans look mom jeans and I had a hard time finding some and I saw these at H&M. I wore them once because um, these are relaxed skinny regular waist and they're size 27 but for some reason these are loose on me. Usually I wear like a 27, 28. These are loose and so I kept the tag on because and these were a, little, a bit pricier. These were um, $39. But they were $39 and I kept them on because I needed a 26 and I went to H&M to get a 26 and they didn't have it. They were literally sold out of these jeans, but um, they had them in like the bigger size, bigger sizes, like 26, 27 was sold out. So <clears throat> I've worn them a few times and wanted to see if that the looseness would bother me and you'll see it's a loose on my waist, but um, they're just so cute and they're just one little slit on the knees and they go past my knees because I'm short and um, I had to fold them up twice <laughs> but the bottoms are just like regular and I like these because they remind me of like Levi jeans so that's really fun lastly I got a pair of shorts I don't like wearing shorts I don't know why I just don't like it I have like bigger thighs so like when I walk my thighs like they you know what I'm talking about? They like rub on each other and then my shorts like end up riding up my legs and then I have to like keep pulling them down and I just don't like that. So I have a hard time finding shorts. I like to wear loose fitted shorts if I do get shorts. And I thought these were really cute. They are like these soft shorts that have like the, a ribbon in the front and then it has like pockets and they're high waisted. And I like it because you could wear it with like a tight shirt and wear it high waisted and they're not short. They're like go to like, they're longer, you'll see. And they're like this pretty like blue color. I don't know how to explain it. It's not navy and it's not like light blue or, but um, yeah, I like these. You can also like, I wore it with my collared shirt, the light blue color shirt that I didn't sh <coughs> show you. And I tuck it in and it just looks so put together. So these are fun. Hey guys, it's a different day today. Um, my, We don't have the carpet on the floor because we're having the contractors come over and fix our house. Oh, and the camera's probably crooked. But I wanted to come back and show you this shirt really quickly. I totally forgot that I bought this shirt at H&M. It's $39.99. It's my favorite shirt out of all of them. And it's just perfect for spring and summer. It's flowy and it has like really thin material where you just feel cool. So I'm wearing a tank top underneath and then I'm actually gonna change to jeans but I'm wearing house clothes right now on the bottom. But I just wanted to show you really quickly the details to the shirt. It's cream and if it's still there, I'll link it below. But I absolutely love the details of the shirt. <clears throat> There's like lace, it's not lace, but it's like this thin material and I love how it gets bigger in the bottom. So feminine and fun and perfect with shorts or jeans or pretty much anything. I just absolutely love this. And it's my favorite shirt out of the whole haul. So I am coming back just to show you quickly what it looks like. So, and I should be wearing different pants, but that's okay. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Mwah. So that is it guys, that completes my Forever 21 H&M haul and is that it? Yeah, that's it. That completes my haul. <clears throat> it was more like a spring kind of haul, but you definitely can just transition these into summer. I'm going to go shopping again in a couple weeks to get some summer clothes, but these have been keeping me pretty happy. I've had a few more items that I bought from Nordstrom's. But those are older, and I don't know if you're still going to be able to find them. These are pretty recent, like two or three weeks old. So 
you'll probably be able to find it. I'll link what I can below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below. I really like to respond and hear your feedback. And don't forget to like this video if you like videos like this. But <clears throat> that is it, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey. Well. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mwah.